Hello and welcome to another vlog. I have just finished work and I've got an appointment now to go get my brows waxed and tinted and my lashes tinted. So I'm just gonna take off my makeup. It is so stinking hot. Seriously, what is the temperature? Okay, that says 32 degrees. Like, come on. Why would the earth do this to a pregnant woman? By the way, I'm not usually a makeup wipe user, um, but when you're in a pinch, they're definitely handy. I wasn't meant to have a shift today, but I got asked last night if I wanted to work, so. I'm more than happy to. I wasn't going to be doing much today anyway, but I thought I would vlog the next couple days. As I said, I'm getting my brows done. I've got a haircut tomorrow and I'm thinking of chopping off quite a bit because it's just getting like annoyingly long. And I know when I need a haircut, when the ends start to come to this thin little point, it's just disgusting. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got a haircut tomorrow. I've got a whole bunch of baby stuff to show you, like a huge haul. My mum and I went shopping the other day and I bought so much stuff. But anyway, these are my before brows. Not much going on. And yeah, I'll show you what they look like when I'm done. All right, just finished up with my brows. I love them. It feels so good to have um, some color back on my face. <laughs> oh, I'm just doing click and collect. This might be mine. My rug arrived. This is for the baby's room. It's not that heavy, although it looks heavy. It's not that bad. Right, now to get them damn groceries out the car, which I forgot my bags. But here's another look at my brows. Look how full they look. Seriously, if you have a blonde brows or like ginger hair, fair complexion, highly recommend getting your lashes and your brows tinted. Like, oh my God, it just makes such a difference. First things first, let's get this aircon on now. Crank that fan up, hey? All right, shall we do a little grocery haul? First things first, we've got some juice and one, two, three, four, five, six sparkling waters. Clinton and I have just been obsessed with sparkling water lately it's so refreshing a little bit of fresh lime don't mind my gut hanging out i had to take that skirt off um some olive oil We've got some milk yogurt and berries to have for breakfast and we got some chicken and mince but no one needs to be looking at the disgusting meat for clinton snacks i got him some grain waves and pringles just got some freezer bags, a cottage pie mix. So we're gonna have that one night for dinner. Got some little packet pasta. Oh, I love them so much. Like I know just how bad they are, but they're so good. These Carmen's oat slice bars are freaking delicious. This has been my new favorite gluten-free bread. The sourdough grain and seeds. Got some toothbrushes and toothpaste. Feta. Got some avocados. They're gonna need a few more days to ripen. Some parsley and some kale. I want to start doing a bit of meal prep when the baby's here. And I've heard that soups are really good. So I wanna make a chicken soup this week and get it in the freezer in little portions. And I've got this pathetic little cucumber, which was substituted from the big cucumber I ordered. Some red onions, we've got some bok choy because one night for dinner we're going to have some chicken meatballs. I'll put them in like a teriyaki sauce with bok choy broccolini and either rice or like some rice noodles if I've already got them in the cupboard. A lemon for something. Oh, to have avalon feta smash. Bananas and some potatoes. So all up that was about $150. We usually spend anywhere from like 130 to 160 a week. Pretty much breakfast, lunch, and dinners. Oh, Clinton doesn't really take lunch to work. Um, and I'm only working like two to three days a week. I always go through the pantry and the fridge before I do up a meal plan and just check what we've got, what needs to be used so that I'm not wasting anything because we all know how expensive groceries are these days. But yeah, I'm gonna pack this away and then I think just have a sit down because it's been a big day for me and baby. Look at her, 30 weeks. Like that is one round basketball. Like, come on. Woo! <laughs> I just 
also got toilet paper as well. A nice big bulk pack. All right, I'm going to sort out all that fruit and veg tomorrow. I got the day off. We'll clean out the fridge, do a little bit of cooking. All right, I've had my rest. It is nearly 7.30, so I'm trying to cook dinner quickly before maths starts. I haven't been into maths like the last couple of years, but I'm just feeling it this year. So I've got some rissoles on that Clinton's mum made us, some mashed potato, and then I'm going to put some Brussels sprouts in the air fryer. I've just put like garlic, mustard, salt and pepper on them. about an hour till I have to leave to go get my hair cut. So I'm just going to freshen up, take some belly pics because I've been taking them every two weeks. All right, I just washed my face. I'm going to use these Garnier Hydro Bomb eye masks. These are my favorite. They are just so cooling and refreshing. I get them off Amazon because they're pretty cheap there. I recently signed up for Amazon Prime and it is like the best thing I've ever done. Having free shipping all the time is so good. And Amazon's prices are reasonably cheap as well. Oh yeah, they are covered. I never know like what way an eye mask goes. I did go to bed pretty late between 10 and 10.30. That's way too late for me. As I said, I've been watching maths and it doesn't end till like 9.30. And because I got home like late yesterday after getting my brows done, getting the groceries, I didn't have a shower till late. Oh, it's just a big night for me. <laughs> like normally, let alone being pregnant. Oh, that feels so good. Oh yeah. All right, I'm going to leave them on for about 15 minutes and then I will do the rest of my skincare. It's been a long time and I've been thinking Give you a call to shoot the shit and fill you in, we're reminiscing Yeah <laughs> All the dumb things we did when we were only little children I've got this little rolly thing that come with this Fenty eye cream and oh my god it feels so good like the cold stainless steel. All right, so I'm going in with this Revolution Vitamin C. This is a 12.5%. I'm just testing this one out. It's the first um, Revolution skincare item I've tried and I actually really like it. Like, I don't know if it's a pregnancy or what, but my skin has been surprisingly good. I've just been getting breakouts like along my jaw but my cheeks and stuff have been quite nice. And this vitamin C, I feel like is just really helping to keep my skin nice and bright. And then any um, pigmentation from my breakouts, it really helps to fade it quickly. So I'm really liking it. My deodorant is from A Bit Hippie. This is just the anti-irritation deodorant. This is my second one now. This is the Rosewood and Patchouli scent. And I really like it. I've always been a bit of a picky deodorant um, person. I feel like they would just never really work. I'd always be stinky at the end of the day. Next, I'm going in with some hyaluronic acid from Hey Bud. I've really been loving this as well. It's my second bottle. I feel like it just keeps my skin so hydrated. Like it hasn't been dry at all. I've got this Bondi Sands um, lip balm 50 plus. Just put a little bit of that on. And then another product by A Bit Hippie I've been loving is this anti-irritation face mist. It says it protects and hydrates, or you can just simply use it as a refreshing mist. And then it also says that it can help prepare your skin for heavier stuff like moisturizer and sunscreen. So that is what I like to use it before. Not that my moisturizer is that heavy. It's just my favorite Neutrogena Hydro Boost. I cannot get enough of this stuff. This one is nearly out. I do have a backup in my makeup room, but I think I might try some other products that I've got hanging around. All right, I'm just going to let all that absorb into my skin. I'll do my hair while I wait, and then I'm going in with this sun balm sunscreen. I really don't need to do my hair, but because I want to take some photos, I'm just going to slick it back. So I always like to wet it because it is just out of control. <laughs> this is my favorite hairbrush. 
it's um, come apart a bit. It's the Tangle Pro by Lady Jane. It's a wet brush, but I just love it. It doesn't hurt when you brush through knots. The bristles are really soft. It's easy to clean because it's like, I don't know. It's just easy to clean. <laughs> It does a really good job at slicking my hair back, as you can see, but if I want to like really slick it back, I go in with this brush from Kmart. It's looking pretty manky. I've had it for like two years now, but it's a ball bristle brush and it just, look at that, slicks everything back so well. I'm pretty sure it was like $2. <laughs> it's been a very good investment. Then I just get another hair tie swirl up my ponytail and put it into a button. Done. Oh, actually, if I was not going to get my hair cut, I would usually go in with this Schwarzkopf got to be um, matte paste as well. This is what it looks like. It is just so good at slicking down those flyaways and any frizzy bits. I freaking love it. All right, so this Sunbum sunscreen, it's only 30 plus, but holy shit. I've talked about it on my Instagram before. It just leaves the most smooth, velvety finish to your skin. Like if you don't want to wear makeup, I would go in with this. It is tinted and it's actually like not too dark. It works for my fair skin. So this is what it looks like. Oh my God, I get so puffed. Let's get up nice and close and hopefully you can see how it just... Makes my skin look smooth. Can you see that? Oh my God, it feels so good. <laughs> I just love it on days where I'm not going to be putting on makeup because it just smooths out my skin. Makes me feel a little bit more put together. And then for my chest and my hands, I'm going in with my Cancer Council Face Day Moisturizer. This is the one I'll usually put on my face like if I'm going out, because it is a 50 plus, and I always like to put it on my hands, especially if I'm like going to be driving. I love this sunscreen because it's really like lightweight, doesn't feel heavy or greasy, doesn't leave a white cast. It's really, really good. I've repurchased it like a hundred times and I get the big boy bottle now. Oh, it's the blind, which is 150 mils. All right, and I'm just gonna put some earrings in. I've already got these little huggies in from Aunt Louisa. I just leave them in all the time. And then I'm also going to put in these hoops from Aunt Louisa as well. I do have a discount code, so I will link that in the description box. Just putting in earrings just make you feel like you're put together for the day. It's like, well, I'm done. Look at me. I've got earrings in. I can do anything. So I just took my photos. Look at her. Oh my gosh, I just love it so much. Look at that belly. All right, quick change of bra. I got these ones a couple weeks ago from Sugar Candy and they are seamless bras because I have been on the hunt to find something for these titties. So they make bras for F cups and up. The straps are so thick and supportive. This band under here is super supportive. I've gone for the medium and what I love on their website as well is they have models, like their model pictures. You can choose what bra size and look at a model wearing that bra size. Like it's so good. So anyway, I wear a medium, but because I'm just feeling a bit suffocated right now, I did buy a extender, but normally it would fit just fine. It's just that I'm feeling very at the moment. <laughs> but I absolutely love them. I love how full coverage they are. They don't cut right down. So like if you move, your boobs aren't gonna fall out. And then they also sent me a maternity style as well. I just wanted to show you them because if you hate wearing underwire bras and you've got a big cup, but like a small back, these are fantastic. So I'll put a link in the description box because they also gave me a discount code. It's not affiliate or anything, they just saw that I was looking for bras and offered to send me some, which was so nice. I've just got some tights on. I end up buying some maternity ones, just some cheap ones from Big W, which like, they're not that good. They were only $12, so you get what you pay for, but they'll do for now. I need to get dressed, have something for breakfast, and I've got to go. All right, I am home with my fresh cut, as you can see. I did cut quite a bit of length off, 
got a few layers put in just so it feels like not so heavy I didn't cut my fringe too much because I just I don't like it on my face when it's hot so I've left that kind of long but yes this is the new hair I need to have a nap I am so exhausted so I'm gonna peg out my washing and then I think maybe watch some Real Housewives, have a little sleep, and then we'll see what happens this afternoon. I do need to give you a baby haul though. I wonder if I should do that first. Should we do that? Let's do that. All right, let's do a baby haul. This room doesn't take long to get filled with crap again. So let's start here. I got this cute cushion from Pillow Talk to put in her, um, what's that called? Cot. I know it won't see in there when she's sleeping, but it just looks pretty. And then I got this change mat from Baby Rest, and it fits perfectly. It's one of those ones that you can wipe down. I picked up this cube um, storage, and I'm going to put it over here as like a bookshelf and toy shelf. And then down here are all the clothes Mum and I got the other day. Oh, my sister also gave me one of these side sleeping bassinets. So this folds down so you can put baby next to you in bed. Okay, so we got a few clothes in five zeros in case she's really tiny. Starting with just like some singlet, like underlay kind of outfits. Oh my God, my words are just, they're gone. So this is going to be a really difficult haul. <laughs> But yeah, then like some singlet ones to go yeah, underneath her onesies. A little Bonds wonder suit. I know everyone says get zips over buttons, but I just love these Bonds suits. It reminds me of like when my siblings were little, I just love a baby in that material. It's so cute. And then I got this two pack from Big W. It's got like little bows on the feet. That one and a pink one. And then this little outfit comes with a beanie and it's very cute, but I have a feeling I might take this one back because it's got like a lot of buttons on it, way more than the Bonds one. But they are all the clothes I got in five zeros. My sister has given me some as well. So I do have a few pants and some other onesies just in case. And then moving on to four zeros. Again, just a bunch of singlets, just regular singlets. I didn't get too many of those. I decided to go with ones that clip up on the bottom instead. So I got some pink and white. They were just from Big W. And then the clothes, oh my God. Look at these little pants, stop, so cute. They, I think were from Best and Less. Then I got two pairs from Target, little pink ones. And then again, like some onesies, like singlet type onesies that can go underneath the other clothes because she is going to be born as it gets into the cooler months. Like these can be worn on their own as well. Um, just like a pink, purple and white, but they can also be layered. And then I had to get something Disney because it was just too cute. My mum was like, oh my God, Danuka. I know. So it's got a little beanie, a bib, a shirt with Dumbo on it, and a little matching pants. Oh my God, this stupid light is going to be in disco mode again. I'm going to have to turn that off. <laughs> oh. Then I got this stripy long onesie from Target. I love the color of this. And then some more of the Bonds Wonder Suits. Again, the color, I couldn't resist. And also this like sage green. So cute. Oh my God. So that's what I got in four zeros. Um, my baby shower is in like, not this weekend, next weekend. Um, and I did ask if anyone is buying like gifts and clothes not to get four zeros and under just because you don't know how big she's gonna be and she won't fit those for long anyway. And my sister has given me a ton of clothes in four zeros. I've got this tub here with lots of clothes from her baby. So I got plenty in that size. So next we go to three zeros, which is zero to three months. I had to get this one first. For Clinton, it says, I love my daddy. We got some pants, some little tracky dacks, love them. And then some little purple pants. I got this to go with this onesie here. This was from Best and Less. This little bee 
short sleeve onesie. Oh, okay, we got another Disney one. So Clinton's nickname has been Mouse like ever since high school. So I couldn't resist but get a little mini mouse outfit. Isn't that so cute? And the hat has little ears. This, I forget what these are called, um, these characters. But the little gumdrop babies. I thought that was too cute. And then some Bonds ones. We got one of the cozy suits, which is quite like stretchy, much thinner material. Again, it's got the buttons, but we'll see how we go. And then I got two of the Bonds Wonder Suits with the zips. I really like these because the hands fold over. A lot of them do that now. And the feet fold over as well. And then you've got the two-way zip, which makes things nice and easy. But like, doesn't that just look huge? Like, what? <laughs> and I love this one. Isn't that cute? A lot of the Bonds Wonder Suits have like really loud patterns. So it's kind of hard to find some with just like more neutral toned down, but I love, love this one. So that's all the three zeros that I got. And then going into bigger sizes, we've got a bit of a range here because some of the stuff was just too cute. Starting with this Peter Rabbit. <sighs> Stop it right now. So I can just picture this with like some little tights underneath. Wouldn't that just be adorable? Then we got this little Bambi onesie. Another Bambi one, but this is a long option. This is size two zeros. The other ones are just one zero. Okay, another Disney one. This has got Minnie, Mickey, and Daisy Duck on it. And then another Buns, Buns, Bonds Wonder Suit, or Zippy, whatever they're called. And then we got a few different dummies because you just don't know what she's gonna like. Some socks and mittens look at this headband or oh, it's like a turban i freaking love it one of these balls because my niece had one i remember she loved it we got some wipes some cot sheets i love these patterns these ones were just from target little bees and suns so cute then i got a lamb skin just to lie her on um we got a bottle sterilizer and a drying rack and then this thing here my mum was really interested in <laughs> i'm still a little bit unsure about it but it kind of like grows with them it's a blanket but it tucks under the mattress so I don't know, I'm just gonna do some more research on it and see how I feel about it. Like it does say it's safe for sleeping, but I don't know. And just because she's gonna be born in the cooler months, like I just wanna make sure she's warm. But I don't know, if you've used this or know anyone that has a review on it, please let me know. breakfast I'm having oats I'm going to put some psyllium husk I think that's how you say it in the oats apparently this is good for when you're backed up which let me tell you is pretty much the entire pregnancy <laughs> I've got some flax seeds and some hemp seeds I'll also get some chia seeds I don't like seafood and my naturopath is like you need to get some omega-3 into your diet, but I'm like, I'm not gonna be eating fish. So I literally just put seeds on everything. Then I've got some almonds and some fresh berries. We've got blueberries and raspberries. Yum oh. Breakfast is served. All right, so the plan for today is I want to do some filming. Um, two videos I want to film, one is a collab and one is my empties video. I do just need to clean up this mess first, so let's get into that. <laughs> I always like to start with the brushes. I feel like it just declutters the desk very quickly by putting them all away. I have my big turn table here of brushes that I keep my clean ones in. And then my dirty ones, I just put into this empty um, candle jar just so that they don't all get mixed up. And then when it comes to cleaning them, I don't have to do all of that. I <laughs> just do these. I dipped back into this, is it Oma Beauty Concealer the other day? And ever since I've been using my NYX Bear with me, just no other concealer compares. And this one, although it was like super full coverage, 
throughout the day it just settled really badly into my fine lines so I want to give it just one more go without setting it with powder and see how it goes but Seriously, nothing compares to this NYX concealer. I can't get enough of it. Also, still can't get enough of these Astralis Dewy and Daring blush and highlighter sticks. Oh my God, amazing. If you haven't picked them up already, you need to. I did do a whole review, so I'll link that in the description box if you wanna watch it. I've also been loving this NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Tiramisu. I never really got into these, but I understand why they have been so loved and raved about for years. It just leaves such a nice gloss. It's not thick, it's not sticky. It's got a good amount of pigment. It's beautiful. For eyeshadow, I've been using this Mecca Max like cream eyeshadow stick in the shade Taupe. Oh my God, it is just the perfect everyday like cool brown. And it's so creamy, it blends really easily. All right, so I've got my little planning notebook here. So the video I want to film today, I'm going to get all of the products out ready. Tell me if you can guess what video it's going to be. Starting with the NYX concealer, the NYX Bear With Me spray, to the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Powder, the Astralis Blush Sticks, the NYX Micro Brow Pencil Essence Tiny Tip, and the NYX Brow Glue. I just need to get another one out of my backups because this is empty. Revolution Cream Bronzer, and then the Rimmel Kind and Free Tint. So they are the products that I'm going to be using and talking about today. This is for the collab video. And then what else I like to do is just come up with a few TikToks that I can make whilst I'm filming. All right, well, I am going to curl my hair it's going to be so much easier to curl. I still can't believe how much I cut off. What the hell? <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to curl my hair and then I will get filming. All right, I am all finished filming. I'm going to have something to eat now. I need to do a few like annoying little errands, like call the doctors for blood test results and change appointments. But then after that, I want to try and set up the cube storage that I got for the baby's room. Is it a matter of can I do it or do I want to do it? That is super cute. It's just a really nice green. It does look a little bit gray on camera, but it is a green. I'm not usually a fan of tassels on the end because I feel like they just get so manky, but I thought I can always just cut them off if I don't like them. Beautiful, nice and soft as well. Okay, so I just thought I was doing pretty well. I've got this far. And then oh, I realized I've screwed this side on with this bit facing out and it should be the smooth bit and that's underneath there. So now I need to undo these screws. Like I didn't do them up too tight and flip it over. All right, I'm making moves, people. I've got it all put together. Now I just need to nail this backing on. There we go, I did it. Got the little cube bookshelf and toy storage. I might even get some of those little, um, like the boxes that go into them as well. Kmart has some nice like beige ones. So hopefully they fit. This was from Big W by the way, and it was only like $59. And it's pretty decent quality. It is meant to go up the other way, but I want it this way. It's not wobbly or anything. All right, well, I am going to end this vlog here. I am exhausted. And need a lay down before I have to do some cooking or like just some meal prep for work for the next few days. Whew, but I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up as it lets me know that you guys actually enjoy the vlogs. I'll try and link as much as I can in the description box. But if you have any other questions, just leave me a comment. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye.